ultimately there was a, a uh, sweet deal prosecution agreement that was entered into between Mr. Epstein and the federal government. Uh, originally, the state was prosecuting, the local Palm Beach County Police were prosecuting the case, and they turned it over to the state's attorney's office here in Palm Beach County. The federal government then came in and swooped in, took in all of their documents and investigative materials, and began a federal investigation where they spoke to some 35 plus women uh, about allegations that had been brought and things that had occurred between them and Mr. Epstein. At that point, a non-prosecution agreement was entered into. That non-prosecution agreement was entered into without consulting with, I know, any of my clients uh, at the time, where it allowed Mr. Epstein to serve a very minimal prison sentence uh, for the allegations that were brought against him. And then he was allowed to be let go. Uh, he was branded a sexual predator at the time, and he is still registered under Florida's sexual predator laws. But immediately thereafter, or shortly thereafter, he moved to the U.S. Virgin Islands to his private island there. So he's sunning himself on the beaches at his private island now in the Virgin Islands. But it certainly doesn't look very good for someone of Prince Andrew's notoriety to be socializing with a convicted sexual predator. I mean, this is a man who pled guilty to procuring underage, an underage girl for prostitution. And Prince Andrew is socializing with this man even after he's pled, his, uh, pled guilty. It just does not look good. It's salacious. It's unfortunate. Um, and people should be questioning just exactly the extent of that relationship. And he should be answering for why he's friends with this type of a man.